In this video, I will show you how to install IIS Internet Information Service and run ASP.NET in Windows 7. So, first I will introduce you how to install IIS in Windows 7. So let's click the Start menu here. We are going to click the Control Panel. In the Control Panel, you can go to Pro Programs here. In the program, you can see turn Windows feature on or off. Click this one. After you, see, you can see here, you need to check this Internet Information Service. I also need to expand this Internet Information Service checklist. Web Manager Tools, Worldwide Web Service. Also need to expand this one. And expands this one application tools features. First one, and you also need to check this the net extensibilities ASP ASP the net list extensions. So after and ex turn this on, you click OK. So after you turn uh, IIS the web directory you can see here the location IS location is C in in net the POB here in net the POB under the C directory you click this one the file is local at the www root so default is the IS start HTML so now how to build your ASP. So let's go back to IIS. Now let's run IIS Manager. So go to this start menu, type IIS. You can see here, Internet Information Service Manager. Run this one. So this is the Internet Information Service Manage. Click site. You can click add website. I already you can add website to add, find a physical path and the site name. And you can select this one. Normally I select the ASP.NET with four point zero, not this one, this one. So I already create this the WW root. You can see here, this the directory is is located in the Eclipse based setting. You can see here, the physical path is here, www here. Load ASP down there for you can see the default document. So I put first one is default the ASP. This is a default one, arrange this and you can move these orders. So let's look at the file, directly double load. So I create a default ASP here. You can edit this one, notepad. This is a simple ASP file. So when you run this one, you know, this one, localhost will go to default ASP. You will give a right hello world. If you run the default ASP, the same. Hello world, post it the same. Because this is the default. I set the default document in the setting. Here, double root default. Yeah, default order here. You can also set add other defaults. Also, you get default order is default HTML in that HTML in that the HTML. I as start HTML default ASPX. So this is setting here. You can use the set any directory. So thanks for your watching.